Mm, all right. Oh, looks like I need forgot to put the right thing to capture. All right. Well, welcome to the channel. I am Chow Chow. Today we're gonna play Final Fantasy XIV again. I think last time, uh, I remember last time in the story, like they were trying to relocate the Scions, and then um, also we ended up killing a uh, the Moogle Primal or whatever. That's really all we did. Um, but yeah, we're gonna continue again today. Um, trying to, no, no, that's right. I need to get the, uh, resume part five, A Realm Reborn. There we go. As far as I remember in this story, I think we were trying to make, like, a grand company, but for the Scions, right? All right, we gotta go to, it says Camp Tranquil. All right. If I can remember where Camp Tranquil is. Oh, it's here. Okay. I had a good weekend though. I had lots of fun. All right, and I had fun with the uh, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shit. That shit was funny. Oh man, it was really great. All right, well, let us go over here. I don't even know who we're talking to. I was thinking about what I could do for um, getting to 50 subs. I was looking at one thing, but it looked extremely complicated. And also, I would need knowledge of how music works. Um, so I figured instead, maybe on the 19th of March. I mean, it's the feast day for um, St. Joseph anyways. But I figured we can do like maybe a, a lot longer stream. Or something. Like stream for a lot longer. Like maybe... Um, I don't know, maybe just a lot longer than normal. Just spend the whole day streaming, right? So, um, I figured maybe we can do that. Um, I was trying to think of what I wanted to play, though. Maybe we can play, like, a bunch of different games. But, um, I know I wanted to play Diablo 2 again. I was probably going to start over, though. Just start from the beginning. But, yeah. But I'll, probably when we switch games, though, we'll just uh, end the stream and then start again. But we'll be streaming constantly. So, whatever amount of time that adds up to. I think on the YouTube, um, you can only really stream for a maximum of 12 hours, from what I heard. And if you go over that, it just um, it makes the video all weird, from what I remember. But, uh, yeah. I think that is what I plan on doing. I was going to ask one of my friends what he thought. But also, um, I was invited to go to, what, like, play Dungeons and Dragons with a group of friends on Wednesday. And that sounds fun. I'm trying to think of what I want to play, though. Um, right now, I'm leaning towards either uh, some type of fighter. Um, either Battlemaster fighter or... Um, or, uh, what was it? Um, the Echo Knight sounds fun. But then again, I also kind of want to play an Arcane Trickster Rogue. And just steal shit. That'd be fun. But, I'm still thinking about what I want to play, though, so. Alright, speak with Kunai Sina at Lotus Stand. Alright, where's that at? Uh, oh, it's at the, um... It's a new Gridania. Okay. Uh, okay. I just got a text telling me about um, something I have to go to at 7 o'clock. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay, well, that guy had an interesting <laughs> uh, glam. Look like a gay stripper or something. Okay. I 
I think odds are that that's also probably a woman playing that character, too. Alright. Let's go. I ended up changing my character's hairstyle, too, just for a bit. I ended up giving them a ponytail. I know my two favorite hairstyles that I own in the game are this ponytail I have and the other one I normally have. Alrighty. It's the Silent Condor. Um, the Elder Seed Seer is expecting you, madam. May I show you in? Alright. Do 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 do. Let's go talk to the Seed Seer. Uh, Chow, you are returned to us unharmed and victorious. Thus have I two reasons to be glad. Yet many questions remain unanswered. If you would be so kind as to oblige me, I would fain hear all that occurred in Thormarch. Then it is as we feared. The king really is a primal. But he really isn't, is he? I mean, the Mughals don't worship him, for one thing. He's not even a god to them. That doesn't sound like any primal I've ever heard of. Then maybe the fault lies with the definition. The fact remains that through a combination of the power contained in crystals and the force of their collective faith, the Mughals called forth a being that by rights should not exist. Moreover, when slain, said being left no corpse, the aether which comprised him instead being scattered to the four winds. According to the accepted definition, he may not be a primal, but the mode of his manifestation was in every respect the same. Which means, Asians, the whole business reeks of their handiwork. Kupo, they, they said it was Masked Man who had taught them how years ago, but Gridania has no shortage of Masked Men, and I never thought to question. Confound it, on how many more will they ensnare with their tainted gifts? Too many, I fear. So long as there are paragons to stir, the embers, fools to build the pyre, and crystals to feed the flames... Ever and ever again shall we suffer primal visitations in somber thought, but a solitary one. My heartfelt thanks, Chow. Already the information you have provided has proven invaluable. The Grand Serpent Marshal and I have much to discuss. Oh, before you do, my lady, I was hoping we might finish discussing the other matter. The matter of which you speak has even now been settled. The Scions shall not want for support. We shall be glad to send additional supplies to Revenant's toil. We knew we could count on you, my lady. Well, Ida and I remain to discuss the particulars of our arrangement with the Elder Seeds here. Mayhap you could return to the Waking Sands and apprise the uh, Ascendant of all that has transpired. All right, I'm gonna go back to the Waking Sands. Let's go to Horizon. Bada boom, bada bing, let's go. Uh, all right, um, let's go here. Let's get on Harambe. Isekai Harambe. Ah. I was having fun playing Helldivers, uh, I think on Saturday. I don't know if I played on Saturday, but I know I played on Sunday. And um, I finally got to level 20 on the game. 
And I think I just need like five more levels and I want to get the uh, mech uh, stratagem. That'd be a lot of fun. I had fun playing that. I'm trying to think of what else I did. I know I was really tired on Saturday. Um, I don't know. I don't really even remember what I did on Saturday. Oh yeah, and then I ended up recording more of um, Dishonored as well and being horrible at um, stealth games. I think that playthrough is going to be probably high chaos. But I think I'm just going to finish the main game and then if we ever go back to Dishonored we can do the Dodd DLC. Alright. It is good to see you hail and healthy, or hail and healthy? Chow, I received word from Yida and Palomo that you had felled Good King Mughal Mog the 12th, but I had hoped to hear your version of the tale. So was it as they said, summoned with the same methods used by the beast tribes and taught by the Asians? Though unfortunate, the incident did at least serve to remind the Elder Seed Seer of our uh, usefulness. Her offer of additional support could not have come at a better time. My thanks, Chow. All right. The Gifted. All right. Owing to the tireless efforts of all concerned, we are at long last ready to bid farewell to Vesper Bay. So, as to avoid drawing undue attention, we shall make the journey to Revenant's Toil in small groups, departing and irregular intervals. Lest you doubt, it is still my intention to conduct future operations openly, but on this particular occasion, the need for caution overrides all other concerns. To move north as one ponderous caravan would only serve to invite attack. It seemed only right that I should be the last to leave, and I would have you remain with me until the end, Chow. Upon my departure, the Waking Sands will formally cease to be our headquarters, and the premises will be given into the care of Uriangir. I had thought to relinquish the property, but he was quite adamant, and I had not the heart to disagree. These walls have borne witness to some of the brightest and darkest moments in our order's history. Mayhap it best that we do not forsake them entirely. Oriander shall remain here and devote his energies to studying the nature of primals, but, but by the grace of the Twelve, he will one day discover the permanent solution that we have sought for so long. Of course, you will not be alone. Alice shall continue to work closely with him as well. Should they require our assistance, I have the assurance that they will not hesitate to contact us. Speaking of Oranger, would you inquire of him if any tasks remain undone? I cannot escape the feeling that I have forgotten something. Something important. Okay. All right. Let's go speak to the uh, the giant elf man. All right, here you go. Thou art ever welcome, Chow, but I require no assistance. Pray take thy leave, unburdened by concern for my well-being. Verily, the countenance bespeak a desire to quit this place without further delay. <laughs> Mayhap thou thinkest that this chapter of our tale concluded, that these halls should rightly be consigned to the annals of history. In man's eagerness to seize the future, how readily he doth set down the past. Full many a proud pioneer hath bravely strided into the great unknown, only to find the, the banner of his ancestor faced by the eons, and still man glorieth in his discoveries, tis though the pride that wisdom doth ever give way to ignorance, while they who lurk in shadow remain hidden, lost now, sooner than they are found. Mm. 
Be not offended, child. The conduct has ever been beyond reproach, despite thy surpassing strength. All the many victories thou hast ever been so convinced of thine own greatness as to imagine thyself as the failings of thy forebears, mayhap it is the echo which hath opened thine eyes. To the lessons of history would that the same could be said of Ah, whence came that cry, the solar, twelve for fen, the, the intercedent, I don't know how to say that word, it's spelled all weird, it looks like ascendant, but that's just what I'm going to call it from now on. Ciao, you, you must. Yep. Tell me, Louisville, would you have done the same? Louisville Liveron was a remarkable man, wise beyond mortal measure, with that I had met him prior to his passing. And Asian here? How? How readily you see you in. You are indeed gifted, uh, as Ascendant. But you, you are not like the others, your robes. Gifted but ignorant, yet I shall not judge you harshly. The fault lies with your forebears. It has been millennia. Mine are the robes of an emissary. Unlike he who came before, I have no quarrel with you. He who you speak of La Habrea? La Habrea is a warrior. He fought, he fell. He may yet learn from his mistakes. Then he, he is still. Come, I only confirm that what you already knew. There is no sensation, no oblivion, only expulsion. You, what are... We're ready when you are, my lady. Is there nothing else? Is something the matter? I feel the same way after everything that has happened here. It feels strange to leave, but I'm sure we're s we'll soon get used to Revenant's toil. You know, hey, uh, the screaming uh, idiot. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm just reading the dialogue. Well, I'll let you say your goodbyes. Take as long as you like, my lady. We shall depart whenever you're ready. It's only to be expected. She lacks the gift and the knowledge both. To her, we are indistinct. Okay, there we go. I do not understand. Shadowless, fleshless, formless, what truth there is in each tale is diluted by time and telling. Knowledge dictates expectation, and expectation colors perception, thus did she perceive not. So it is with all but the chosen few, even you when young could not yet see with eyes unclouded. You know nothing about me, nothing. The gift grants you clarity, it grants you focus. With it, you may in time come to see us what is what we are, rather than the crude approximation. La Habrea did not think so highly of the Echo. La Habrea was wrong about a great many things. The Echo is indeed a gift, albeit one you have yet to master. And if we did... There would be no strife between our people, for we would be of one mind. I leave as I came, in peace, Ascendant, 
May we meet again as friends. Alright. Wait, stay. Where you are. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, uh, Screaming, I'm doing pretty good. Um, had a good weekend, so. I'm glad you're doing good, too. Yeah, sorry it took me a little bit longer to respond. I was just, uh, reading the dialogue, so. Mayhap I was indelicate to some mercy she shield her children from his grace with such resolve. Was it also by her hand that you survived the ardor, I wonder? I take it there is no need to explain. Save your concern, he did me no lasting harm. Whenever his intention was, it was not to kill. I heard a cry. What happened? Are you all right? You look faint. Do you need to lie down? I could fetch you a flask of my special tonic. Orianger sent word to the student of Baldessian, tell them to scour the archives, the forbidden tomes in particular. If there's any reference to an Asian robed in white, however oblique, I would know of it. An Asian, my lady, was that what gave you a cause to cry out? I did, but moments ago, glimpse a figure clad in white, set from... Waking sands. It Asians are worse to employ teleportation magics. Why would one be so brazen? I know not and care not. Find him, Chow. Turn every stone in Vesper Bay if you have to. Pray attend me, Tartaru. Alright, finally, that cutscene's over. But yeah, I'm glad you're here, uh, Screaming. Hopefully, uh, now I can, uh, respond to you a bit, uh, quicker. Mm. Alright. Ugh. Alright, so now we gotta find a white colored Asian. I mean, probably just teleported away. I don't know why we'd be um, trying to look for him. Um, let's see where it says to go on the map. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm doing New Game Plus is so, um, like, um, I'm just doing the story. And then that way, like, it's all recorded, right? And then, um, when the new expansion comes out, and, um, whenever, I think it comes out in the summer, I just wanted to stream that. That way there's, like, some continuity. No, that's the main reason I'm, I'm doing the new game plus. I was gonna do, I was gonna try and do all the, uh, MSQ again. Up to the current point in the story. As like a series or whatever. Alright, I need to have the map open. Well, that's the main reason, because whenever, um... I forget, I think it's like Dawn... I forget, it's like Dawn trailer. I forget what the new expansion is called. But yeah. I'll walk north, and you may choose to follow. Okay. Yeah, that's the main reason I'm doing it. Um, yeah, it's Dawn Trail. There we go. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Dawn Trail. Um, the two new classes look pretty cool. Um, I know when Endwalker came out, I wasn't very 
I wasn't really into Reaper. I didn't think Reaper was re really all that cool to me. And then, uh, Sage was meh. The thing is, though, I really actually do enjoy playing Sage, um, when I have played it. I think the two healers I really like are Sage and, um, and White Mage. But the Viper and the, um, the Pictomancer look pretty cool. Go. Uh, okay, we just gotta keep on going forward. But also, the other reason um, I'm playing the MSQ is uh, it's been so long since I've done like a Realm Reborn and Heaven's Word because um, I've played it. Um, I think when it first came out, so it's been that long since I've done it. So I kind of just also just forgotten what happened. <laughs> Okay, there's the thing here. Can I help this person kill this? There we go. So make sure they get credit. There we go. Alright. All right, what are we going to fight now? Okay, I'm dead. There we go. Approach the white robe Asian four times. Okay. Oh yeah, same here. I mean, that is the other thing too, because I'm probably going to be playing a lot of, I'm probably going to be streaming a lot of Final Fantasy XIV when the new expansion comes out, because I want to, I want, well, I probably won't stream me level the, leveling the crafting classes, but I got to like level up everything again, right? Because I don't know what the new max level is going to be. I'm assuming it's either going to be like 99 or 100, right? So I got to like level all this stuff up again. I'm gonna hate it when I have to level up like the healers, um, cause I gotta like remake all my healing macros. It's a hundred? Oh, okay. But yeah, I know one of my friends was, uh, saying that, um, the, what do you call it? The, um, there's gonna be like a event where they're gonna say when the, you can like pre-order the game, or when the game was coming out, I'm not sure. Like packs or something, I don't know. Alright, remarkable, truly remarkable. I thank you for granting me this indulgence. None save she who bested La Habrea could endure such an examination. Had the laws of man grown so twisted in my absence that it is now permitted to lay hands upon an emissary. You bore witness to my audience with the ascendant, did you not? Then you know I acted only in self-defense. I realize the same cannot be said of Lahabrea. Even amongst his brethren, he is considered unique. Nonetheless, I can wholly condemn. I cannot wholly condemn his misdeeds, for through them we discovered you. One so strong in the gift that she could cast us out. Your mother favors you still. That much is plain, but surely you must feel it. Her influence wanes and her strength shall soon be spent. These lands, these people, this world, all shall soon change. As it was, so shall it be again, and it should always have been. Doubt my claims and question my motives, if you will. Only believe me when I say this. I am Ilibus, emissary, bearer of the word of the one true God, and we shall meet again. Alright. 
Yeah, but um, the two new jobs look pretty cool. Um, like the whole like viper thing with like two long swords looks pretty cool. That turns into a twin blade, and the the pictomancer seems meany, which uh looks pretty fun to play. I don't know which one I'm looking forward to most. Like I'm kind of interested in how the Pictomancer plays, but like I'm worried that um, the reason why I like to play Summoner as like a DPS mainly is the uh, movement it allows, right? Like I really the one reason I really hate playing Black Mage is due to having to like hard cast and stand still, because I always have a habit of um, standing in fire. So if I have to stand still, so. All right, let's go back. Oh, no, that's not the right building. Yeah, me too, because, like, they finished the whole story, right, in the game. Because you had, like, well, the original Final Fantasy XIV, I guess, would have been the first kind of thing, but you can't play that anymore. And then you had, like, um, just continuing that story through A Realm Reborn and all that, right? And then it ended in Endwalker, because that was that whole story arc. Because, um, like, I would imagine if you're, like, a new player, I mean, you could skip, like, all of that if you wanted to. And just do the new story, right? Because that's what's happening currently in the game. But I do think the, um... Because, like, the only problem with, like, I, I know when I try and get my friends in the Final Fantasy XIV is that you have to go through all the story to get to the end game content, right? But, um, I think the, the Final Fantasy XIV has a pretty good narrative. Alright. Big pardon. He was waiting for you. What did he do? What did he say? As it was, so shall it be again. Of what does he speak? And of what exactly? The words of Elidibus portend much, but reveal nothing, save perhaps a measure of disdain for Labrea. I had hoped for answers, but it seems I shall have to be content with a wealth of additional questions. Alright. Um, build on the stone. Okay. Let us set aside the matter of this Asian until after we have completed our move to the Rising Stones. There is but one final favor I would ask of you before I depart. I believe I mentioned before that my father was a member of the Alamegan Resistance. The truth, however, is more complicated than that. As far as the Empire knew, he was their spy. He maintained the deception for nigh on half a decade furnishing the resistance with vile imperial secrets while feeding his paymasters subtly conceived misinformation. When he died some 15 years ago, my father left behind his journal, which I have closely guarded ever since. It contains every shred of information he and his agents could steal on what they believe to be the single greatest threat to Orosia, the primals. Its wisdom has guided me through the years Though there is much within, I still do not understand. It is my hope that Orange will feel better. Oh yeah, same here. Um, I think. Well, I think this. I I think the story gets good. Like to me, the most interesting parts of the story started in Shadowbringers. Um, I really like Stormblood as well. Um. I would say the post Realm Reborn is pretty good, too. Because, um, like, the cool thing about Final Fantasy XIV is that, um, like, after, like, every... Like, the further the game has gone, like, you see that the developers have, like, really improved with, like, their storytelling and just, like, mechanics. Like, I know in Endwalker, um, pretty much throughout the whole game, right, like, um, you could play any class you wanted to in a raid. Like, everything was pretty balanced, right? I think the only time it was a problem was, I think, for the Machinist, I think, at one point. Like, the Machinist was really struggling. But that was only for, like... I think they ended up fixing that, right? Uh, I do know the, um... 
Oh, some of the post uh, A Realm Reborn stuff is pretty good too, especially the very end of A Realm Reborn. All that Game of Thrones stuff. Let's go through the door. But I really liked a lot of the characters in Stormblood. Like, I really like Xenos. Um, I like the, like, old samurai guy. And then I really like the Witch of Doma as well. I thought she was an interesting character. Alright. Thought thee departed. To what end dost thou linger? Let's give him the journal. The father's final bequest, the daughter's lifelong labor. It is no small thing to surrender such a cherished memento. We, well, can I imagine the uh, atten ascendant's pain upon mine honor? I swear to spare no effort in study of these materials, lest my lady's sacrifice be in vain. Oh, yeah, same here. I love Xenos. Um, you know, because he's like my best friend, right? In the game. Xenos is pretty cool. And I really like the Witch of Doma, too. I thought she was an interesting character as well. Alright, ciao. This is Minfilia. Forgive me, but I could wait no longer. I have departed for the Rising Stones. If if you have yet to, once you have given the journal to Oranger, I bid you come to the Seventh Heaven and Revenant's Toil. Tatru will be there to show you inside our new headquarters. Assuming you have already attuned to it, you may wish to make use of the new Aetherite in Revenge Toil. After all, it is right on our doorstep. Oh yeah, I mean like, um... Because like, I really hope they bring Xenos back somehow, just because I really like him. I know he's probably going to be, uh, dead forever, but yeah. I love Xenos. Xenos is really cool. Alright, um, let's teleport to the Rising Stones. Some more donuts. Oh, wow, this person's glam's pretty cool. Look like a little cat angel. Or is that the, um, I don't, I know there's like a, it's like the, um, the miscellaneous item that gives you the wings, but I don't, I know there's like a item from the store that does like the same thing, but it's glam. Okay. Oh, ciao, you're here. Good, good. We were all wondering when you'd show up. As I was just telling your, as I was just telling your restive reception here, I'm pleased to inform you that all the documents have been prepared and all signatures signed. The Rising Stone is officially yours. Splendid. From this day forward, I will spare no effort in seeing that it is as welcoming and comfortable a home for us as the Waking Sands ever was. That said, this is all somewhat intimidating, is it not? So many unfamiliar places and unfamiliar faces. Most of the men and women you see around you here in Revenant Soil are adventurers who come and go as they wish. I dare say that should make it easier for you to go about your business here. And it shouldn't hurt that Chow here has already made something of a name for herself here. Isn't that so, Chow? Why, that's wonderful to hear. Rest assured that this receptionist will work just as hard to see that our efforts do not skip a beat despite the relocation. And with that, Chow, I believe it's time you officially announce your presence to everyone inside. The Ascendant and the others will surely be overjo overjoyed to see you. Mm. 
Yeah. I know the Fantasia's people end up buying those a lot. I haven't bought a Fantasia in forever, though. Like, I usually just stay as a Lollafell. Alright. I know, like, the, the only reason I tend to get stuff from the store, like, I don't often buy mounts, but, like, I'll buy, like, emotes, like, uh, the pizza emote. And then, um, and then I, I'll, I'll just buy, like, outfits, usually. Because I, you know, I don't really raid in Final Fantasy XIV. I think I raided, like, one. Like, I did one of the raids, but I ended up stopping it because I just didn't, I didn't really enjoy it. Um, for one, I was doing it because my friend needed it or what it needed help so and they said I played a summoner pretty well so but um I normally um just like to collect outfits in the game you know that's the true end game right is the fashion game all right Now the gang's back together again. Oh yeah, I'll have to show you my house uh, at some point in it. Um, I think I, the, I showed the house in like an earlier video too, but the problem is is finding it. All right, well in the uh, in the recording, uh, well is that certainly spacious? That's the staff from the guy from the f original game, I think. Today marks a new beginning for the signs of the seventh dawn. For only we declare, or no, no, for today we declare independence. We shall henceforth be beholding to beholden to no nation, but serve all of Orzia's people proudly and openly. But this does not mean that we will sever our ties with the Orzean Alliance. On the contrary, the Ascendant and I shall endeavor to strengthen them. Rest assured, however, that we shall not permit political considerations to influence our decisions. Our identity remains unchanged, as does our cause. We are the scions of the Seventh Dawn, and our single purpose is to safeguard the future of Eorzea. For Eorzea. There we go. A moment of your time, Chow. I would speak of Elidibus. Pardon the intrusion, my lady, but the matter which bringeth me will admit no delay. Mine every attempt to contact the students of Baldician has been met with silence. No one will respond? How odd, allow me to try. No response, surely they would not ignore us. They have never yet, my lady, I fear we must assume the worst. No, no, I will not believe it. An outpost, perhaps, but not their headquarters. The wards are beyond circum... Whatever that word is. Had they come under attack, they would most certainly have raised the alarm. None could penetrate their sanctum unnoticed. But for those who lack the gift and the knowledge, both, oh no. Contact their agents in the field at once. If aught has befallen the students of Baldician, they may know of it. Though the thought of it pains me, until such time as we have evidence to the contrary, we can but assume the worst. Accordingly, we must need seek another source of information on Elidibus. It is possible that others in the homeland are possessed of such knowledge, but fairly warned, however, they are unlike to yield it unconditionally. 
Do what you must. Yet another unforeseen and unwelcome development. What could be next, I wonder? A visit from a chrism-clad Asian, perhaps, or Orcher or Puce, and which of our allies was that then fall silent? For a time, I thought we had gained the upper hand. When you shattered the crystal of darkness and cast out Lehebrea, I dared to hope that we had found a way to rid ourselves of the Asian's menace. But I was wrong. He endured and may yet return. Upon the point, I have no doubt that Elizabeth spoke true. Yet there must be a way to destroy them utterly, a way to spare the, this world their unholy machinations. I dare not consider the alternative. There are forces at work we do not understand, Chow. I discern them all around in disturbance too great and too numerous to be dismissed. As mere coincidence, doubt, doubtless the paragons are involved, but how and to what end is far from clear. I know not what will come, but I do know that we will rise and meet it as one. Ah, oh, my stalwart hero, you face your face is a picture of resolve. I know that you will be ready when the time comes. With luck, however, that will not be for a while yet. Pray return to the private affairs with my blessing. Should anything arise, you'll be informed. Kryl, where are you? Doesn't Kryl, like, come in in Stormblood? I remember only seeing her then. Your intercession was not foretold. You object? We question our plans. We question. Our plans are in motion. Your intentions unclear. They survived the seventh our door and are stronger now in the gift. Does that not intrigue you? Oh, she does appear in Heaven's Ward? Okay. Yeah, it's been so long since I've done Heaven's Ward, I forgot. I just remember seeing her in Stormblood. Alright, they survived the Seventh Order. Okay, yeah, we already read that. No, it does not. Serve as you will, so too shall I. We labor not at cross purposes. The wisdom of his plan shall become apparent in time... When the veil is lifted from their eyes, and at long last they see. All right, there we go. Oh, I remember this part. This is the um, the lady from. I think this is. I think I remember um, watching a video on this. The character that's about to be introduced. Because, like, she's one of those, like, dragon people, but when they introduced her, the dragon people weren't in the game yet. So, like, yeah, she, it was one of the reasons why she was covered. But in her actual model, I think, was, like, a Mikyote or something. It was one of those cat people. Alright. Truly, there is no rest for the weary. Scarce have I begun to make myself home when I received a request for assistance from Armajai, the Sons of Mineral Concern. It would appear... Their storehouse in Horizon has been the target of a series of covert robberies. Minor as they seemed in isolation, occasional discrepancies in the manifests were long dismissed as clerical errors. We only, if it is only during the concern's annual audit, then a pattern became apparent. Significant quantities of crystals and only crystals were missing. I need hardly tell you what that may imply. The brass players charged with investigating the thefts believe that someone within the concern is selling the crystals for profit. Alas, they have as yet been unable to identify a likely suspect as the concerned proprietors have grown frustrating by their lack of progress. 
Needless to say, I would not have agreed to intervene had the stolen goods been of merely monetary value. If there is even a possibility that the thief acts not out of self-interest but in service to a primal, we can ill afford to wait for the blades to realize their mistake. Pray depart for Horizon at your earliest convenience. Rendezvous with Ustola when you arrive. She and Thancred have already begun prelim a preliminary investigation. I have every confidence that the three of you will get to the bottom of these thefts. I only hope our fears prove unfounded when you do. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I mean, she was the first Ura before there were even Uras, right? Uh, the way I pronounce their name, it just uh, sounds like the Ura like type of thing. But yeah, like whenever I would like change my character's race, I'd always go back to Lollafell. But um, I'd always like um, either change into one of the dragon people, the humans, or the cat people. Those are the races I like to play. I think I ended up playing as one of the bunny people once, but um, I didn't like that I didn't have a helmet. And also they didn't have as many hairstyles. That's usually why I don't. That's the only reason I don't like playing the bunny people. Alright, let's go to Horizon. Mm. Alright, let's talk to Yustola. Ah, Chai, your assistance is most welcome. I have already spoken at length with the brass blades of the rose, albeit in little avail. It would seem that the thieves took great pains to conceal their activities. I could go into further detail, but your time might be better spent in conversation with Fufulpa. He is the officer charged with leading the investigation. And I would only be repeating that which he related, he related to me. If you aught eluded my attention, mayhap it will not elude yours. Okay. Yeah, I finally think also, um, I was playing Final Fantasy XIV, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, but I finally think I've gotten the hand of, uh, the Paladin rotation, because, like, I'm actually able to, like, hold aggro on, um, current, like, trials and normal raids, so. That's always good that there's another class I'm good enough to do. Alright, hello there, chat. Was it Yashola said to expect you? Terrible business, these thefts. We have yet to confirm the quantity of crystals stolen, but I dare say it may be greater than. Ah, but never mind that. I have news to share. A short while ago, the driver of a heavily laden carriage refused to halt for inspection and broke through one of our checkpoints on the, ro on the Royal Allegan Sunway. The cart pulled off toward eastern Thanalan, where, thank the gods, I hear that our colleagues were able to apprehend them without further incident. A speeding carriage, that would seem a curious choice for thieves of such proven cunning, yet the Amaja do have a foothold in eastern Thanalan, hmm? And what of their cargo did they carry the crystals we seek? We should be receiving a report any moment now, but I fail to see what else I it could. Did you miss me, friends? I'm back, but I fear I come bearing disappointing news, or a second thought, perhaps it's good news after all. Thankred, wherever have you been off to? I figured you had everything under control here, so I just took a, uh, a brief excursion to the east to check up on Amager's friends. And wouldn't you believe it, I happened upon a runway carriage on the way and even was able to do my small part to help my friends and the brass blades intercept it. In all my years, I've never seen such a progenous quantity of Somnus. The blades were calling it one of the greatest halls they've ever seen. The stolen crystals, on the other hand, were nowhere to be found. Is that so? 
Alas, I suppose we have no choice but to resume our search elsewhere. We should reassess our options as well. Come with us, Chow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I like the Viera. Um, I, now, I don't mind that the Viera have less, like, options for hairstyles that are, like, the normal ones that you would have upon character creation. The only problem I have is, like, um, a lot of the hairstyles, like, you'd get from, like, the um, items that you unlock hairstyles with. Uh, you can't use on them. A lot of them aren't um, compatible with it, right? So, yeah. Okay, against all expectations, it would seem that Almanjos are innocent of this particular spate of crimes. All indications. Okay. I mean, he's just telling us what we already know, right? We'll just go through it slowly. Oh, yes, voice acting. Yeah, I'm hoping the female Hrothgar that comes out, um, they'll have the helmet slash hairstyles. That'd be nice. Tis I. The situation may be more complicated than we anticipated. Yeah, they got, like, hair all over, though, right? Indeed. I shall remain watchful. Oh, I love Oranger's voice. Another matter requireth thine attention. A young maiden, full eager to... Wherefore inquirest thou of her fairness? Oh, very well. Be she damsel or devil, I shall direct her steps to Revenant's toe. Save thine insinuations for one given to such impropriety. Thou shalt not find me amenable. Hmm. Uh, Final Fantasy 12, Balthar. Oh, I'll have to check out Final Fantasy 12 then. I haven't, um, like, the only Final Fantasy games I've played are 7, and the only, well, I would say the only two Final Fantasy games I've beaten are Original 7 and this one. <laughs> Um, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy 3, though. I need to get back to that. Yeah, I know one of my friends in Final Fantasy 14 really likes, um, all the Final Fantasy games. Alright. Any bright ideas, a solitary flash of insight. Yeah, my friend um, Zatsu really likes um, uh, Final Fantasy a lot, too. Yeah. Yeah, because I know he is always talking about it. And I think it's okay to be a fanboy uh, when it comes... If, like, if, you know, if you really like something. Because, like, I really like all the Bethesda stuff. Like, I'm a Bethesda whore. Um, you know, so, I think it's okay. I mean, you just gotta, like, reckon, like, I mean, for me, um, I recognize that, like, a lot of the newer stuff from Bethesda is really garbage, but I still enjoy it. Um, I think a lot of the, like, honestly, I, I, I think fi all the Final Fantasy games are good games. Although, I, I think a lot of the recent ones, not so much, because, like, I, I hate how, um, it's, like, action combat now. I think I prefer Final Fantasy to be, um, you know, turn-based, right? Like the older ones. But that new Final Fantasy game, I think, what is it, is it 15? It's either, no, it's 16, Final Fantasy 16. 
Um, that's the new one, right? That Yoshi P was working on. That one actually looks pretty cool, despite it, you know, being an action game, I guess. But, um, yeah. But yeah, I really want to play Final Fantasy 3 again at some point on the channel. Because I, I, I liked Final Fantasy 3, I just never beaten it. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna read it. That way we can get through the story faster. Yeah, after 10. Well, then I know 10-2 was a game, and 10-2 had the, um, the turn combat as well, right? But, um, I remember, because I never played Final Fantasy X, but I remember getting Final Fantasy X-2, but, um, I was playing that as a kid. I forget how old I was. I was either in middle school, uh, I think I was in middle school at the time. Maybe. But, um, I didn't really enjoy 10-2. I probably didn't enjoy it as much either because I never played Final Fantasy X, so I kind of, like... I played the sequel, not, like, the original one, right? But, like, I also, um, enjoyed, like, Kingdom Hearts as a kid as well. I only played, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, though. Um, I tried some of the other Kingdom Hearts games, but, um, I think the only one other one I played, and I didn't beat it to completion, I only, like, played one of the storylines, and I think it was the one where it was on the PSP, but, like, you don't even play as Sora, or, like, right, you just play as the, um, it was like a prequel or whatever to the Kingdom Hearts 1. I remember I played as the guy, the story I ended up completing was the guy that turns into... Xehanort or Ansem or whatever. He gets, like, possessed. Yeah, I remember one of my friends from, uh... Middle school and high school was, uh, really obsessed with Kingdom Hearts. Like, that was his favorite game. Right. But yeah, I, I should probably play um, Final Fantasy. The I don't know if I need to buy anything, but didn't they like come out with something more for the Final Fantasy VII remake? Because I've seen people playing it again, so just assume that, um, something new came out, right? But I really like Final Fantasy VII, mainly because I'd always watch, uh, my aunt play it when I was four. So, that's the reason why Final Fantasy VII has a special place in my heart. Yeah, that one. Um, is there like a DLC you gotta buy to continue the new story, or is it um, does it just come with it? Because I already own the game, right? Oh, okay. I'll have to check it out because that'll be something I want to play too. I remember playing it a little bit before on the channel, but um, I just. Got, I, I think I ended up, uh, I think, I forget what happened. I think either Baldur's Gate 3 came out, and, um, I really wanted to play that, and then I just got distracted. Right, is there more? Oh, okay. Why are they just hanging out here? Yeah, I'm hoping it goes uh, up to the gold saucer bit, just for all the Mimi stuff, so you can take uh, Barret out on a date. Oh, man. Alright, there's your Stola. She's all dressed differently. 
I think. Alright. Severn to the last. As expected, you are unharmed. Okay, a gang of sea wolf thieves and the Thanalan, no less. I suppose there's a first time for everything. Sea wolves, all of them? Aye, and with the same taste of, in facial tattoo. Blue, in case you were wondering. Our thieves are a long way from home. Now we must be fighting Leviathan next, then. Thankard, if you would be so good as to attend to the outstanding matters in Horizon, I have inquiries to make. To Horizon, then. Uh, Fufalupa will want to hear about your meeting with the thieves. Alright. But yeah, um, the screaming, I, um, I'm really excited. I'm hoping that the part two for that uh, goes up to um, to uh, the Gold Saucer. I really love the Gold Saucer in um, Final Fantasy VII because um, I, I really like doing the combat arena in the Chocobo races because that's how I beat Final Fantasy VII. Like, I couldn't beat Sephiroth uh, by myself. So what I ended up doing is um, I ended up uh, getting the... Um, I did the Chocobo breeding... And then got the golden chocobo, and then, um, I, uh, what do you call it, um, I ended up getting Knights of the Round as a summon, basically. And that, uh, pretty much helped me kill, uh, Sephiroth. Ah, oh, it doesn't. That's a shame. I'll still have to try it out, though. On behalf of the Brass Blades of the Rose, I thank you for your service to Horizon. Ah, but we have not been idle. While you were afield, we succeeded in identifying the traitor within our ranks. Is that so? Then, be by your leave, I should very much like to have a word with the, f the fellow in private. Oh, does have it. Okay, I thought... for. Sorry, I'm dumb. I thought it said doesn't. Yeah, I just misread that, lol. Well, that's awesome, then. I hope there's, like, a chocobo breeding set, uh, system in that, then. I'm gonna be excited once the all the parts are out. Although, I do know that it's, like, um, when I, from what I played of Final Fantasy VII, though... Um, or the remake is that um, it's like kind of like an alternate reality stuff going on, right? Like there's something funny going on. Um, Cause like um, I haven't gotten too far, but like I remember when I played the original, like Barrett hires you again, right? But when I was playing the remake, he just doesn't want to hire you anymore, which I thought was interesting. And then you end up hanging out with the the, the B team, right? Uh, Jesse, Wedge, and Biggs, I think. So that was cool. But I, I, I forgot how... I think I, like, I did something with the B team, and then that was the last time I played it. So if I play it again, I'm just going to start over. You might try to look a little disappointed, or do you mean to give me another one of your sto stoic nods? You do, don't you? Sigh. No, we just nod. Okay. Uh, mother... The mother of exiles. Okay. Ancred has information on your next assignment. The Ascendant bid me to tell you to make for Vesper Bay, where young Alphanad awaits. You're coming most eagerly. If he, if it was he who requested your assistance, some commotion or incident, I am not privy to the details. While you do whatever it is that Alphanad has planned for you, I shall endeavor to track down our traitorous brass blades, and when I do, 
You may rest assured that we will have our answers. Alright. Yeah, I'll have to play some more, like, Final Fantasy games on the channel. Um, the ones I do want to play, though, for sure, are the original 7, Final Fantasy 3, and, uh, probably the remake for 7. Oh, no, no worries. I mean, I've already played 7, right? I would assume it's, uh, Aerith, but, um, yeah. Because I know she dies in the original. It would be interesting if it was somebody else, though. I could be wrong. Maybe they'll throw, like, a curveball. You are late, no matter. I know where our visitors are headed. From what I have been able to gather... This vessel belongs to a band of domans who seek an audience with the Sultana. You are familiar with Doma, yes? In Orthard? Well, like the rest of the nations of the Eastern Continent, it is ruled by the Garlean Empire. Given our visitors' unannounced arrival, as well as the state of the ship, I suspect they did not leave their homeland under the best circumstances. Needless to say, I should be very interested in what they have to say. Alright. Well, he's just going to tell us to... Meet with the one lady, I assume. Alright, let's go to Ulda. <clears throat> Alright. I gotta go to the Royal Promenade. Okay, just teleport there. Oh. The uh, Chamber of Rule. Oh, yeah, it's the Chamber of Rule. Okay. Alright, later, Screaming. You have fun with whatever it is you gotta do. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Ooh, all right. I wonder if this is going to automatically do a cutscene here. Oh, there he goes. It matters not how many times you ask. Without the necessary permissions, none shall pass. Pray understand, good sir. We have not the leisure to lodge a formal petition. Time is of the essence. All I ask is that you summon your superior. Allow me to plead my case. Surely you can grant us that small kindness. Away with you, and darken these doors no longer. I will not ask again. You know not what you do. I gather you please fell upon deaf ears. Ah, loyal men with a cold heart. I know his kind well. I hope that you will find me more to your liking. Alphano Lavinier, at your service, a friend. Which I believe makes me very near, very nearly unique in this part of the world. At least few indeed. Are you allies? Are your allies in Ulda? Yet you will need some if you wish to endear yourselves to the wealthy and powerful. Pray join me and my associate at the quicksand. There you may explain your situation to us, and we shall see if there is aught we can do to help. All right. Uh, they want us to go to the quicksand. That's the I think that's the inn in uh, Ulda. All right, let's go to the teleporter thing. Oh man, I'm hungry. Ooh. Let's go to. Go to, where is it? Where's the Adventures Guild? There we go. Mm, 
and get some soda. We have traveled some several thousand miles across the sea from the nation of Doma, in hopes that we might find sanctuary in these lands. Ah. A sanctuary, Lady Yugiri. Lying within Oppard, Doma was under the dominion of the Galian Empire, as I'm sure you are aware. When the War of Succession broke out in Garlemald, we espied an opportunity to free ourselves from the yoke of imperial oppression and took up arms. Only to be crushed. And so I gathered what few Domans escaped the reckoning and guided them hither to your shores. Okay. A war of succession? Then the Emperor... Forgive me. You said that Doma was under Imperial rule, did you not? Doma is gone. Raised to the ground as an example to the other provinces. Hmm. Twelve have mercy. And your people. On a ship anchored in Vesper Bay, flying borrowed colors. Many were complicit in the rebellion, or are kin to those who were. They will not come ashore until I send word that it is safe to do so. I sought an audience with your rulers, but was summarily refused. The lords of Ulda are not wont to entertain foreign refugees without suitable encouragement. Mayhap I was foolish to expect otherwise, but our supplies run low and we have young ones in urgent need of care. I have seen the tents outside the gates, however. We are not the first to seek asylum, nor will we be the last. Be that as it may, Ulda is no friend to Garlemald. Your tale would stir the hearts of many men and women here. The Sultana and the Syndicate will not be so easily swayed. But I shall see that you are granted an opportunity to plead your case. All right. This is within your power? Well, far be it from me to boast, but I do have the ear of certain influential individuals. I am in your debt. Lady Yugiri, Forgive me for observing, but your choice of attire seems like to evoke feelings of mistrust. Men are wont to fear the unfamiliar. We know this from experience. Mm, she's dressed up like some kind of ninja or an assassin. We seek only to spare the people of Uldar unnecessary disquiet. I shall defer to your experience then. I thank you for your understanding. It seems I have urgent business with the Flame General. I leave our guests in your capable hands. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Um, okay, let's talk to Yuguri. If I may, madam, as I said earlier, we have been at sea for some several moons, and our supplies are all but spent. I have not the heart to repeat the tales of our tribulations, nor would it please you to listen to them. I think suffice it to say, however, sacrifices have been made. Though it shames me to beg for more when you have already offered so much, uh, desperation compels me, good madam, if you or your associates could spare any provisions anything at all it would go a long way to lessen the suffering of my people all right um i'm right, gonna speak to my modi hello why didn't you say sooner chow of course i'd help you're gonna have picked a better day to tell the truth a wealthy merchant and his entourage were due to have a banquet here on the morrow see but just sent word they can't come, meaning I've got a boatload of foodstuffs and no one to feed. 
Best of all, they paid for the lot in advance. Haha. -ha. Go and call on Furbu and Catherine on the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Tell them I said to ship the little prince's order to the Waken Sands. Oh, and if they are you, just show them those letters. Just set them straight. Okay. It's the Sapphire. Okay, they're at the Sapphire Exchange. Okay. Looks well, like the uh, merchant area, right? All right, let us go over there. Do 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 do. Um, she is in the business of feeding refugees now. I ain't normally one to question Mr. Smamodi's judgment, but that doesn't seem wise to me. Okay, well, here's this letter. I'll not speak for the children, but if you ask me, a man what can't earn a crust deserves to go hungry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Maya, that's a rather odd request. Mayhap you misheard her instructions? Uh, nope, I got these. Now you shouldn't encourage them like this. They'll start to expect it. You'll you mark my words. Okay. I mean they're not wrong probably. I I feel like this is gonna have consequences. Ah. All right. Let's go back to Mamodi. All right, there you are. They didn't give you any trouble, did they? Good, now go and tell Lady Yaguri all is in hand. All right. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. I did not hope for such magnanimity, much less expect it. Mistress Mamodi is a generous indeed. I shall be sure to thank her most humbly. Lady Yagura briefed me the flame general uh, Lady Yagura, I briefed the flame general on your situation. I think you will be pleased with this reply. We have been granted an audience. Before the Sultana and the Syndicate both, we should return to the royal promenade at once. You have done much for us, Master Alphanod. I swear we shall return the favor. Not as owed Lady Yagura, for not has been given the small favor you fairly won with your words, and it is with your words that you must win the favor of the syndicate. Then I shall choose them with care. You will be accompanying us, yes? Good. Your presence may serve to remind the syndicate of the true meaning of philanthropy, and the nothing that nothing so unpalatable um, will be required of them. Assuming the domains are willing to earn their keep, come, the flame general awaits us at the royal promenade. All right, let's go again. Let's, uh, teleport away. Oh, ooh, no, it's the chamber of rule. There we go. Mm. Okay, let's go talk to the Sultana and the Syndicate. And uh, Raban, or whatever his name is. Oh, yeah, it's Raban. There we go. A pleasure, child. The others are already inside. Let's not keep them waiting. Lady of Dolar, I'm honored to meet you at last, Your Grace. 
To mark this auspicious occasion, I should like to present to you the finest treasures our humble nation has to offer. Alas, the circumstances which have brought me here today have divested me of both time and dignity. I come before you as a pauper in direst need of aid to request that you grant my people asylum. Mm. I, Nanamo, 17th in the line of Ul, welcome you to our city. Be at ease, Lady Yugiri. Ah, oh, it's the best girl. Although I myself have heard the tale of your misfortune, I would ask that you recount it once more for the benefit of the others here present. As you wish, Your Grace. For many years, my nation, Doma, suffered under the yoke of imperial rule, and my people yearned to be free. Thus, when a war of succession broke out in Garlemald, we sought to take advantage of the chaos and reclaim our liberty. Alas, our enemy proved less preoccupied than we had hoped, and our rebellion was put down in the most brutal fashion. Those who survived, how many do they number? More than 200 souls huddle within the cramped confines of our own galleon's hold. Yet this figure accounts for but one of the number of ships which escaped the purge. It is my hope that you will allow us all to dwell within your walls. Should that prove unfeasible, however, I humbly ask that you accept as many of my people as your resources allow. Pray understand, we do not beg a boon, but propose instead an arrangement. We would serve as soldiers or tradesmen until our debt is repaid. Ooh, okay, so they're actually offering something in exchange. That's smart. What are the Syndicate's opinions on this matter? I, for one, think it's a marvelous idea. Lady Yugiri and her people strike me as an industrious lot. And there are parts of the city which have yet to be fully restored. If they are willing to work, I see no reason not to let them. The head of the Mirage Trust is not known for his generosity. He sees profit in this. Oh yeah, I would too. I agree. That said, these are foreign refugees. To admit them would require a formal resolution. Shall we call a vote? The law is the law. Lord Lolovito? Tell me, are you blind or willfully ignorant? Even now, our streets are choked with the displaced victims of the Calamity and Alamegan refugees. They live hand to mouth, subsisting on aid provided by the immortal flames the cost of which grows ever higher. The wealth of Ulda is not without limits, my friend. And need I remind you that these refugees are prone to violence and criminal activity? You have all read the reports, I think. Hmm. It's just like in real life. Without homes or employment, it is only a matter of time before men grow desperate. And oh, welcome back, Screaming. They imagine have been unjustly denied them. Yet, knowing this, you would have us swell their ranks. Mayhap you think the brass blades and the flames are not hard-pressed enough? Some say the chairman of the East Aldenard Trading Company passes Gil thrice daily. This may explain how he came to be the wealthiest man in Uldar. Or it may simply be that he's ruthless beyond reckoning. Hmm. Surely the Sultanate can support the few hundred domains Lady Yugiri represents. That our resources have been taxed, I do not deny. But we are hardly in danger of financial collapse. I like how everyone, oh, most, the, the majority of the Syndicate are all Lollifels. <laughs> it's like the Lollifel Illuminati. Okay. I move that an exception be made. An exception, your grace? 
I am suddenly reminded of a similar debate some years ago regarding a number of Alamegan refugees, if memory serves. What were your words that day? <sighs> ah, yes. The law is the law. And so our visitors remained in little Alamigo. Mayhap our wise and benevolent Sultana would be so good as to enlighten us as to which other of our laws should not be upheld. Mind your tongue, Lolorito. My lord, I share your concern for the welfare of our great nation, but we must endeavor to take a longer view. You know as well as I that people can be a resource still more precious than guild. Precious or not, they were never yet so reliable. And unlike those who frequent your establishments, I have no desire to gamble with my future. Yeah, but like, I think like a lot of the Lollafells uh, uh, settled in Ulda, right? Uldar's greatest asset That's what I remember, though, screaming. I'm not sure, though. We risk this at our peril. Okay. One need only look to Teleji Adeleji's example for evidence of the danger in allowing sentiment to dictate policy. How far the vaunted Mirage have fallen both in repute and profitability since he began employing refugees. How I choose to conduct my affairs is not your concern, my lord. Yeah, because, like, aren't the... I know, like, the Lollafells, like, they're originally from, like, these islands, right? I think, like, the islands are kind of, like, based off Hawaii. And then you have, like, a lot of them going to Orzia. And then I know there's, like, all the, the eras... I know in one of the eras, they, a lot of the Lollafells were part of the... I know it was like the... the was like, there's like those wars between the white mages and the black mages. And a lot of the black mages, I think, were Lollafells, I believe. Um, back during that cycle, and they had a huge city. And then when that city was destroyed, uh, a lot of them just kind of... I think at that point, they created Ulda, right? Or, or, or they created like two, but then Ulda was the one that survived. Proposal has been tabled. Given its urgency, I move we forego further debate and call a vote. To accept the Doman refugees or not. Those in favor, I bid you remain. Those opposed, I bid you leave. Mm, he's out. Aw oh, man, Lodorito looks pretty cool with his outfit, with his like little mustache. Oh, everyone's leaving. <laughs> Lol. Would that it were within my power to welcome you and your people, Lady Yuguri. As you have observed, however, my authority in such matters is regrettably limited. Without the consent of the Syndicate, I cannot act. I understand, Your Grace. And I appreciate all that you have done on our behalf. The nerve of a man! If that bastard had not forsaken the Eastern trade route, little Alamigo would now be thriving. Oh, that you should have traveled so far under such dire circumstances only to be refused in this manner is utterly unconscionable. Pray, accept my sincerest apologies. Now that the Empire no longer poses an immediate threat, they see little reason to maintain the pretense of unity. The monitorists have grown especially defiant of late. Lord Lolorito most of all. But this is neither the time nor place for that discussion. Alright, well where are they gonna go? Alright, complete.
as you observe, Lord Rito is not afraid to speak his mind, nor is he, like, to change it. I wondered how a man so skilled in weighing the worth of things should be so incapable of seeing the value in people. Bah, I will waste no more words on him. Not when the domains are yet to need of aid. Everyone follow me to the Hall of Flames. Okay. Let's go over there then. From what I remember, I think the domains end up going to either... Forget if they go to Revenant's Toil and mint more donuts, or if they go to Limza. Because I know the ninja staff is in Limza, right? Alright, let's go to... here. Alrighty. Uh, there you are. The syndicate has spoken. And I see no point in moving that the matter be reconsidered. The monetarists have made the position clear. Agreed. Ulda is not an option. Nor are Limza, Lamosa, or Gridania a judge given the state of their internal affairs. Which leaves our dome and friends confined to a ship. Gods, the thought of them huddled in the airless hold with no hope of better treatment. With that, I had more time to find an alternative, a place not bound by the concern of the greater great nations. Okay, so we're going to take them to Revan's toil. Minphilia. This is precisely what I wish to discuss. I understand the syndicate's decision. I do. We all wish to present that which is ours, especially when we believe it to be under siege. But I cannot meekly accept the judgment, not while my people suffer. Would it be out of the question for the Sultanate to accept us for a limited time? A week mayhap, or, or just even a few days? Excellent. I shall keep you informed. Lady Agree, I have a proposal if you would hear it. Out with it, Master Alphanum. The headquarters of my order, the Science of the Seventh Dawn, stand in a place called Revenant's Toil, an outpost and more donuts. Like my most outposts, it is frequented by mercenaries and other men of action, and lacks the comforts of more well-established settlements. However, the leaders of Revenant's Toil have been doing their utmost to change that. To that end, they have need of able-bodied individuals willing to work as frontier, uh, frontier hands, hard labor, lest you doubt with not save food and shelter by way of reward. Terms not unlike those which you yourself propose, Lady Yuguri. Though I will not hear a word said against our beloved Ulda, Revenant's toil will offer certain advantages, the absence of unhelpful bureaucracy being the most obvious. If they can accommodate us all, we shall gladly accept. Master Alphenald, once again, I may myself, I find myself in your debt. Pray do not thank me, my lady. The life your people go to is one hard labor, or er, and few comforts, as I told you, and before that, there remains the matter of how they may safely be born to Revan's Toil, which will be no small feat, considering the distance of the present condition. Mayhap the Ulda Adventures Guild can be assistance looking for their Anon Chow? Alright. Lady Agroy, if you and your people would accompany me, we may discuss what the Immortal Flames can provide. Alright. Just gotta go talk with Alphanoth somewhere. I'm assuming he's at the Adventurers Guild or the the um the quicksand or whatever the inn is called.
All right. <sighs> All right. We are concerned that the Doman refugees may find the journey to Revenant Soils too much to bear. Too long have they been sequestered aboard their ship with insufficient supplies and scarce room enough to to breathe, let alone stretch their limbs. With that in mind, Mistress Mamodi has kindly offered to accommodate the Domans until such a time as they're ready to set out for Mordona. Those healthy enough to travel will embark soon as transportation has been secured, while those too weak to leave at once will be permitted to stay until they regain their strength. What news? Transportation remains our greatest obstacle. General, is there aught the immortal flames can do? I fear that exceeds our mandate. We're in a similar number. Mayhap it would go unnoticed. But the syndicate will not bear the cost of escorting more than 200 domains at two more dona. When government fails to act, the responsibility falls to us private citizens. I will engage the service of the 77 caravans on the Doman's behalf. Very well, we should begin contract negotiations at once. Your generosity is most welcome, my lord. After all that has befallen, these good people it is the least I can do. Come, what may you shall ever have a friend in old all lady, you curry? And you, in Revenant's toil, my lord. Well, it sounds like we all have work to do. Lady Yuguri, let's put our heads together and settle the details of our arrangement, shall we? I would entrust the task of escorting our Doman friends to you. After you have re rested your own road-weary legs, of course, what say you? There we go. Alright. Let's grab the next quest. As we speak, the Domans prepare... For departure at Vespers Bay, when from, they will be transported by carriage to Ulda. That said, this has all been decided rather suddenly, and it would not surprise me if the refugees required some assistance in coordinating their preparations. Chow, I would have you return to Vesper Bay and facilitate the process through tasks great and small. In short, whatever must needs be done, do it. Speak with a man named Hozan when you arrive. As Lady Yuguri tells it, he has been designated the leader of the first group. Okay. Um, where's Vesper's Bay again? That's where they showed up, right? Yeah, it's in Horizon. Let's go there. All right, let's get on Harambi. All righty. We'll see how far we can uh, get through this, and then um, in about what is it, six plus in sixteen minutes, we'll um, probably end it there, um, depending on if we're in a cutscene or not. Alright, there's Hosan. Greetings, Alphanaut. Inform me that the Scions would be arriving to help with the preparations. I am honored to meet you. Though shamed as well, a great warrior should not be tasked with such triviality, tri trivialities. I knew from a glance what manner of woman you were. I, too, have some skill at arms, as do many of our people. 
Yeah, I'm getting hungry too, cause I haven't really eaten anything today. Cause um, I woke up and my stomach was bothering me like it normally does when I wake up, but it's feeling fine now. I was actually worried I wasn't gonna be able to stream, cause um, I had trouble waking up. So, but yeah. Play forgive this trifle. Be my I trouble you to help round up the children that have been given into my care. Your most adept is staying hidden from my sight, but perhaps your keen eyes will succeed where I have failed. Okay, we just gotta find the kids. Alright. <sighs> oh, hello there. I'm Yozan, son of Hozan. Um, will you be coming with us to Ulda? I hear we're traveling by a horse bird drawn carriage. But don't you think they're queer? Giant birds that people ride like horses? I still want to try riding one, but... What's that? You're looking for the others? Don't worry, I already told them to get ready for the carriages. I'll need your help, though. We were just finishing a game of hide and seek. Three players are still in hiding, and... Okay, so let's just find them. Let's find these kids. Uh... I'm gonna get on the gorilla. So we can fly around and hopefully uh, find them a bit easier. Alright, there's one. Uh, are you playing? Ah, no fair, Yozan. Didn't say anything about adults. Huh? We get to ride a horse bird carriage? I don't know. It sounds scary, but Yozan said it's safe. I'll go. And that is proof uh, that Chow Chow is indeed an adult. Okay. Um, okay, where's the other one? Maybe they're inside the building? They're hiding somewhere in here? Okay. Right, well, it's not there. Oh, here's one. Hey, you're not Yozen. Who are you? Okay. We got them. Oh, where's this last one at? Where is he hiding? I feel like we're a bit cheating since we're flying around and we get like a a bird's eye view. I don't know where they are. This one must be hiding pretty well. Oh, there he is. How do you find me? Guess I need to practice more. Or maybe you're just good at this. I mean, the garlands didn't find me. Okay. Wonderful, all the children are accounted. Hide and seek. Ah, I see that you are curious. It's quite simple, really. They agree, thought it best that the children know what to do in case Garlean's found us. Okay. Um, okay. So, now we gotta leave Vesper's Bay. We're, we pretty much know what he's talking about. He's like, oh, why don't you get us on the horse, the, the carriage with the chocobos and get us going. Yeah, but I remember playing the game uh, when there was no flying back during A Realm Reborn. Because they added flying to the game, um, I think, in Heaven's Word, right? I don't know when they added flying into the old zones, though. I just know when the game first came out, uh, it wasn't really a thing. You're to be off, are you? Ah, oh, well. I was meaning to have word with you about that runner from the blade. Says we might have a problem. A fierce looking beastie has been sighted south of the bridge to Hammerly. Might be as someone's eyes are playing tricks on him. Of course, but it don't pay to gamble in this business. Okay, he just wants us to go kill something. Alright. Um, where's this animal at? Um, let's get in our car this time. Oh, 
Alrighty. Alright, where is it at exactly? Oh, okay, I see where it is. Alright, let's go. I'd imagine there's some kind of like scenario instance thing that's gonna happen. I think that would be a good spot to end it to, just after we do that, so. That being if it is an instance. Okay. Oh, no, it's just a normal destination. Okay. Alright. There must be more to it, then. Hmm. Alright. Smack it with our sword. There we go. Alright, now we just gotta fly back. So there was a BC was being the operative word, eh? Ha ha. Well fought, madam. Well fought. Oh, if only if, were, if I were in better health, I should have been proud to stand at your side. Pay my son no mind. He forgets that his responsibilities preclude acts during due. <laughs> By the, be that as it may, I cannot help but envy you. Had we been able to call upon heroes of your strength and skill in Doma, things would have been very different. But we cannot change the past. Those who fought and fell are forever lost to us. Lost but not forgotten. Lady Aguri's kinsmen, least of all. They fought uh, fiercest, though they knew full well it was in vain. She had every right to walk away, yet she chose to stay. Food, shelter, the promise of a better life. All this and more we owe to her. How does one even begin to repay such a debt? In kind father, too, she has given everything we shall give our all. Whatever work there is to be done, we shall do without question. Ditch digging, brick laying, and it matters not. Reverend's toil will grow and prosper by our hands. Hey, Miss Chow, Koru and I want to know why you became an adventurer. Mm. Uh, to win glory. There we go. Glory? Like bringing honor to your family, you mean? Yes, Father always goes on about that. It's my turn now. Excuse me, Miss Chow. I've got a question. What's Reverend's toil like? Is it pretty? Um. Um. Uh, I don't know if we want to say it's the home to the Seventh Dawn. Let's do this one, the top one. Yeah, we gotta really sell it to him. I mean, there's lots of people there who are just as strong as you. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, it's his turn. All right. When I'm all, when I'm older, I want to be strong like you. What do I have to do? Um. You gotta, you gotta train insane or stay the same. I gotta eat your spinach and all that. Ah, so my father was right. How do you do it, then? Come on, tell me. Don't leave anything out. Alright, alright. That's enough questions for Miss Chow. 
That's not fair. Why does Yozan get to ask two questions? I want to know about adventuring just as much as he does. Just one more, please. Do you think I could be an adventurer like you one day? Oh, it doesn't even give me the option to say no. <laughs> That'd be funny if you could do that. Really? Then I will. Thanks for the advice, Miss Chow. I won't forget it. I'm going to be an adventurer, too. When we get to Revenant Soil, let's make an adventurer's guild for Domans. We'll protect our friends and punish the wicked, just like Miss Chow and Lady Yaguri. Yeah, just like Miss Chow and Lady Yaguri. We can talk more about the carriage on the way. Will you be joining us? Mm. There they go. Yeah, it'd be funny when you if you could do that. I was like, nah, you'd never be in an adventure. <laughs> All right. Well, it says now we gotta go to the quicksand. That's back in what? I think that's in Ulda, right? We'll talk to Alpha Node and pick up the next quest, and then um. I think that'll be it for today. Let's go find Alpha Node. Mm. There's the man. Ah, ciao. I take it the first group has arrived. Excellent. Hmm, there is not there is aught else, no? No, I have matters well in hand here. You and Lady Yuguri should travel to Revenant's Toil forthwith. Okay. All right, let's pick up the next one, and then we'll uh, end it there. Um, all right. This past time, Lady Yuguri met with the guild representatives in Revenant's Toil. Since I do not foresee any further matter arising here in Thanalon, which might require your personal attention... I would instead have you serve as an escort to the Doman delegation for the duration of the journey. Speak first with Slathborn upon your arrival. He is the one whom the Domans will be working most closely, I should think. Afterwards, introduce Lady Yuguri to Minfilia and the Guild Emissary if both meetings go well. The resulting tie should stand at the Domans in good stead, for which is to come. Safe travels, ciao. All right, well, let's um, teleport to... We'll teleport to our free company estate. All right. We'll go inside. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it here because I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything today. But uh, we'll end up playing this again tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I usually normally stream around 12 or 12 in the afternoon or 2 normally. Um, the only reason I shouldn't be is if I'm, like, sick, right? Um, or if I just wake up late normally. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.